which I'm not gonna lie is super hideous. Oh my gosh. And today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the, no, I screwed that up. Try it again. Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm gonna to be taking a look. I just said shaking. Hey guys, I'm back and today, Mulligan, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Na 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 Surprise mini dolls, which arguably could be on my great big toy box channel, but since I intend to display them and I know many people are going to, I'm gonna put them here because they are not going to be playthings fight me on it. Please don't, because this is where I'm reviewing them. <laughs> Anyways, these are not completely new, but they are relatively new, and they're super adorable hard body versions of regular Nana Now Surprise dolls, specifically the first wave, if I'm remembering correctly, which I have opened in the past. I just don't have any accessible at the moment to compare, but I'll try my best to find one later on so that I can put it beside whichever one that I get that is the twin, but bigger. I guess. Anyways, as you guys very well know, I don't really tend to do things halfway if I can do it full way. <laughs> um, I think that made sense. Basically what I'm getting at is there are 12 dolls to collect in this series, and since they're not 40 to $60 like the Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls, I was actually able to pick up quite a few of them <laughs> all of them for relatively cheap, which did equate to a larger price of about 173 after tax. But realistically, I finished the entire collection and it still wasn't as much as getting a Rainbow High or Shadow High full complete series. So I'm pretty excited to have all of them here and I'm slowly pulling them out. As you can see, there are 12 and basically I'm gonna open every single one up and I'm super excited because since they're so small, I don't think they're gonna pop at me me like the previous non and off surprise dolls did. I feel obstructed, hold on. There we go. Now to be fair, I haven't opened any non and off surprise dolls. I really just like saying that, non and off surprise dolls, um, since that first initial batch, like my kids have, but I haven't. So I don't know if they still have that whole feature, but I'm assuming because they're so small that these ones will not. So this is what the package looks like. Each of these has a little symbol on the front indicating which doll you're gonna get inside. And you could easily look this up online and you'll be able to find whichever one it is that you're hoping to get without having to get duplicates, which is fabulous. And honestly, I don't understand why MGA is willing to do it for the non and off surprise dolls, but not any of their other lines considering the popularity of things like LOL surprise. Well, actually I do know the answer is because they're greedy. They could have easily indicated a long time ago which doll was gonna be inside which ball. That way we didn't have to shell out thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and the world wouldn't be filled with duplicates and plastic. But they made their choice and now we all have to live with it. So anyways, I'm really excited about the codes. That's what I'm getting at because now the doll selection is in our control and that's a big deal. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> All right, it's time to take a look at our Na 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 Surprise mini dolls. All 12 of them come in the exact same pink package with the logo on the front along with three dolls and series one up here in a cat head. On the back, we can see all 12 dolls in this series. They're pretty cute. And I do have the larger versions of this one here and this one. Now, like I said earlier, you can't really tell who you're getting unless you know what the symbols mean. So on the front of the package here, you may have noticed a little sticker and this is the only thing that's going to be different across the packages. So there's a heart, a long thin diamond shape, a paw print, rainbowish type shape, a crescent moon, which just so happens to be the only one I've memorized off the top of my head. This is what you want to look for if you're hoping to get yourself Tuesday, the doll that looks like Wednesday Adams. There's a circle, a square, cloud, a snowflake, then we've got a triangle, a fancy diamond, and a straight-sided diamond. And at first glance, they might appear the same, so just make sure you've got one of each. So if you see anything you like here today, make note of what the sticker was. And if you'd like to complete a full set, then just make sure you remember to pick up one of each symbol, 12 in total. Oh, wait a second, I have this guy too. Haha, -ha. so I have three. Ta-da! 
But those are soft body dolls and these are hard. So it's time to uh, get into this collection. And like I said, I only know which symbol belongs to Tuesday. So we're just gonna have to open them all, I guess, until we find a mini me to compare alongside this doll. So I'm gonna start with this long skinny diamond. Okay, so at the back here, we've got a little perforated section and we've got a checklist. A big bag, medium bag, and a little bag. And now that we have our checklist, we can actually see what the symbols are for each of the dolls. So we've got Britney Sparkles in the fancy diamond, Mina Moody in the square, CJ Cuddles in the straight-sided diamond, Sarah Snuggles, aka this girl here, is in the circle, Aubrey Hart is in the heart, that makes sense, Roxy Foxy is in the triangle, Aspen Fluff will be in the Snowflake. Tuesday Meow is in the Crescent Moon. Misha Mouse is in that noodly rainbow shape. Nina Nanners is in the Cloud. Michael Manchester is in the Paw Print. And Catherine Whiskers is in the Long Narrow Diamond that we're opening right now. So let's get her open, shall we? Here's the packaging. They're all the same in a pearlescent dusty pink color with question marks on the front as well as little stars. And inside, ooh, we've got confetti. I'm gonna have to get me a container after because I keep all of this. And once I've got a whole container full, I donate it to the childcare center down the street along with many other random parts that can be used for art and open-ended learning materials. So that's pretty cool. And so I'm gonna make sure to save every little bit that I can after I open each doll. Okay, so I've got a nice clean table and now it's time to open up. What was her name again? Uh. Catherine Whiskers. Yes, Catherine Whiskers. Here we go. Oh, she's so cute. I'm not gonna lie. There are certain dolls you see when you're looking at a full collection. You're like, hmm, which ones do I want? That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. You might be drawn to one or many based on favorite animals that you have. But Catherine Whiskers, although cute, was one that I felt, eh, if I get her, I get her. Obviously I got the full set, but seeing her in person, she's really cute her hair I don't know how to describe it it's very dusty it's a mix of light pink or purple and a dusty pinkish brown color so cute she's got a lightly tanned body and pink painted undergarments brown eyes and brows a cute little nose little ears there all the things that a doll should have and on top of her head she is wearing a flocked pink cat ear hat, which is not removable. And as for articulation, she has the five basic points. So that would be a rotating head, as well as arms and leg. That's pretty much all there is to these dolls. But of course she's not meant to stay naked. She needs clothes, which I think are in this medium sized bag. Yes, that made sense. It was bigger and bulkier. And her outfit is two pieces, a pink ruffled skirt with three layers and black lacing that ends up in a bow on the front and a matching black t-shirt shirt with some scallop sleeves and it says I love cats in silver. And these are similar to LOL clothes in the sense that they just pop on their body as many doll fashions do nowadays, except they are quite a bit softer and more malleable. The LOL clothes are notoriously stiff, especially when it comes to their tops. Many times they have snapped on us in the sleeve region, especially. So here she is looking super cute, but of course she still needs shoes, which brings us to our third and final bag. Do -do -do -do. Oh. She gets socks too? What? Dang, those are tiny. Okay. Uh, they are very, very small black fishnet socks and they're kind of like knee highs, but they shrink back down. So let's see. Oh, and it's so simple to put her shoes on. I thought that was gonna be difficult, but it wasn't. So while I struggle with this sock on the second foot, I'll just let you know that the shoes are a super cute pair, a super cute pair of platform heels. They just have one strap and they're a light purple with a little cat face on the front. And now we find out if they can stand unassisted or if I have to order some devices. Oh, come on. Can we get her balanced upright? Hey, we can. That's not a good angle, but we can. Awesome. Okay, there you have it. Catherine Whiskers, one down. 11 to go. And now we move on to the paw print package. And I've already forgotten who's inside. I could look at the checklist, but I don't want to because it takes a bit of the fun away. So I'm going to keep it a surprise. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Try that again. Here we go. Checklist. 
Bag one, bag two, bag three. I'm gonna try my best to keep the majority of the confetti inside because then I don't have as much cleaning to do. Oh, it's not working out though. <laughs> Okay, I'll just pick it off the tape after. Yes, I'm committed, okay? I am committed. Or I should be committed. <laughs> Anyways, I'll just set that over there for now. And we will open up. Who is this? Ugh. Oops. Oh, he's a lamb. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? We have Michael Manchester. Or maybe he's not a lamb. Maybe it's like puppy ears. I don't know. Either way, he is really cute. He's got a pale skin complexion and comes wearing some black painted underwear and has short brown hair hidden underneath his white and tanned hat. He's got brown eyebrows, big green eyes, and the exact same articulation as the other doll. In fact, they all will, so unless something on them doesn't work, I will just start skipping that information. And now for his clothing. Ooh, we have a track set essentially, which includes green pants with black and white stripes on the side and a quilted pattern with little paw prints, which is not the easiest to see, but they are in fact there. And the top piece matches. It's meant to be an open jacket on top of a white t-shirt. So there's just a little dog in the center there sticking out his tongue and the sleeves have those same stripes that the pants did. And if I move him in just the right way, you can kind of see that quilted pattern. And to finish his outfit, of course, we need some shoes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and definitively say his hat is dog themed, not lamb themed. Because just like his shirt, we've got some dogs on the side of his sneakers, which are all white with red and blue stripes. So let's pop those on. Now it is worth noting that once the dolls are dressed, unless their arms are not obstructed, you won't be able to move any part of them because the clothing holds them in place. So you'll only be able to move their heads, which is why I would recommend if you really like these dolls and have the skill to or somebody who could, some fabric clothing because then you'd be able to pose them. And of course he could stand all by himself. He was a lot easier to get balanced as well because he has a lack of hair. And that's it for Michael Manchester. Now I will open the snowflake package, which I think might have been the blue bunny. Let's see. Yes, her name is Aspen Fluff. So there are her packages. Shake down all the confetti. And now open her up. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. What? I knew she would be. So cute. Okay, she's got a really deep tan with long white hair, which includes a bit of tinsel and comes wearing a painted underwear set in light blue, which matches her eyes. And on top of her head, she has a flocked blue bunny hat with super tall ears. Oh, and it's super hard to see, but she even has some little freckles across her nose, which makes me really happy. I can't help it. I really love freckles on dolls. <laughs> and now we dress her in this one piece sweater dress, which is a mix of light blue and white with some bunny ears on the front. Very simple. Girl, get your arm in. There we go. Her hair is trained so funny from being in the package. Oh my gosh. Cute, cute. But of course she is missing shoes, so we're not done yet. Ooh, and socks. Wait, and sock? Is there just one? Oh, there's two, okay. One was stuck to the shoe. All right, she has little socks, which are shiny and white with little bunny faces. So let's pop those on. We gotta do it nice and slow, otherwise the fabric rolls in on itself and becomes a little too tight to pull up. And there's Harvey. There we go. So that's what those look like. And now for her boots, which are a light blue with a white chunky platform, fur around the ankle, and a little cotton tail in the back which is the perfect way to finish off Aspen Fluff's look. And now make sure she stands. Yes, she does. Perfect. Which means we could say goodbye to her and hello to Tuesday, which is the doll that comes inside the Crescent Moon package. Let's open her up and free her and her accessories from their packages. Forgot that I was saving that. <laughs> You think I would just dump it all out and deal with it after, but it feels too messy. So I can't, cause I have issues. And one of them is how bad I need this confetti. 
I made the mistake one day of trying to get it all off the floor, but then you end up with dust and hair and stuff. So, I mean, childcare centers don't like that, guys. That's why I'm being extra right now, okay? But it's for a good cause, children and recycling. Who doesn't want that? But anyways, this here is Tuesday Meow, who is so clearly a fan of cats that she is wearing a black cat hat. Unfortunately, on the right ear here, we are missing a little bit of the pink paint, but if I can match that color, I'll be able to uh, fill it in. As for the rest of her, she's got a pale skin complexion and comes wearing a two-piece underwear set in dark purple, which matches her long hair pulled off into two braids. And when it comes to her face, she's got bright green eyes and little freckles across her nose. And their faces are so adorable, by the way. Um, they look a little sad. All of them do, in fact. Probably because of the sheer size of their eyes. And I like them. I can't help it. For her outfit, we have a black and white dress, which is made to look as though it's over top of a white blouse with a black collar and buttons. There's a little cat on the front as well. Let's just pop that on her. The bottom ruffle here, it's a little hard to tell, but it is a little bit translucent. Super cute. Her look is definitely coming together. All we need now is her shoes. Oh, and she has some socks too, excellent. They're pretty much the exact same as Aspen's were, so they're long white socks, except that hers have little black cats on top instead of blue bunnies. See? And her dark purple boots with black platforms and laces are on the wrong feet, there we go, are the perfect way, that's better, to complete her outfit. And, Oh, hold on. And she can stand unassisted, which means I don't need to buy doll stands. Woo! So I've cleaned up a bit, and now we're gonna continue on with this macaroni rainbow. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna call it both, which has Misha Mouse in it. There's our packages, so let's get her open. There we go. Ooh, she's got long brown hair with a bit of a curl to it. She's got a lightly tanned complexion with bright blue eyes and comes wearing a painted yellow underwear set and a white flocked mouse hat with pink inside the ears. For her outfit, oh my gosh, it's a little pink dress covered in red roses and green leaves. Oh my goodness. It's just a little mouse in the flower garden. Ah, I love it. And for shoes, oh, shoes and socks, correction. We've got some little white knee highs here with little flowers or polka dots on them. I can't really tell. So let's just get both of those on. Cute. And for shoes, like I was trying to say, we've got some red strappy heels with a big white platform and painted mouse nose or muzzle on the front. Ooh, there's little bows on the back. And that's her completed look. The only thing that separates her from her artwork is that she does not have hair going across her forehead like they show there, but I guess I could kind of like pull it to the side if I wanted to. I don't know. But either way, she is super cute and I love her. And for standing, she's good. Which means we can move on to number six, which has the heart symbol on it. And inside these packages, we'll have everything we need to make Aubrey Hart, our second bunny. Here we go. Oh gosh. Ah, all her confetti is falling. Come on, Aubrey, have a heart. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> She's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love her. I love her. She was one of my favorites right from the get-go. Don't forget, I already showed you the bigger version of her. I will let you know right away, her hat is a much darker shade of pink than the original. And of course, they're totally different. This one's a soft plush and this one is hard plastic that's been flocked, but still, I find that interesting. Either way, everything else about her looks pretty much the same. So she's got a light skin complexion with long curly platinum blonde for the most part hair. It's got the slightest hint of yellow in it with bangs going across her forehead just above her bright blue eyes there. And she comes wearing a two piece pink underwear set, which of course matches her bunny hat or at least the inner light pink ear because like I said, the outer section is a brighter pink. And for her outfit, we have a yellow t-shirt with little white bunnies all over it. Super cute. And a pale pink pleated plaid skirt. Yes, can't believe I said that right in one go. <laughs> but I did, so let's celebrate that by opening up some shoes. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, we're gonna start with her little stockinettes, I guess they're gonna be. They are white with lacy ruffles around the top, and these ones go mid-calf, unlike the other dolls that go up almost to their thighs. And she's got little strapless pink and white heels with little bunny ears there, along with white platforms, cotton tail at the back, and little white bows in the front. And she looks exactly like her bigger self. The only unfortunate thing is I've misplaced the shoes for my larger doll at the moment. I'm pretty sure my daughter was playing with them, so I can't show you, but those match as well. And of course, oh, she falls down. Her hair is kind of weighing her down. And there we go. She is standing all alone and looking fabulous in her completed outfit. All right, see if I can do this. Hold on. Oh no, we lost a shoe. Arr. Hold on, grab everybody and hold them. Hooray. All right, so we are done with the first six dolls. Yes, my ringtone is my intro. I'll be right back. <laughs> Who's calling me? Okay, well, now that I'm done being interrupted, turns out it was my husband. Oh, her shoes are falling off. Clearly, this is an issue. This is actually the only issue I've had so far. So these small parts are definitely not gonna be the greatest for younger doll recipients, but if you're a collector, they don't pose as a choking hazard, so that's good. But otherwise, I would say not the greatest for smaller people. But like I was saying, these are the first six dolls I opened, and now, assuming no one else calls me, we'll move on to the the last six. And I'll start with the square package, which will have Mina Moody inside. So let's free her. <gasps> oh, her ears look like lamb ears. Maybe we have one after all. Oh, she's so cute. Her eyes are a greenish blue with hints of purple. She's got purple eyebrows, long, curly, light purple hair. And like I said, she's wearing a lamb hat. It's flocked and black with pink insides for the ears. Of course, she comes wearing a two-piece painted underwear set. It's purple like the rest of her. And her complexion is very pale for her her outfit, we have a two-piece, which includes a black t-shirt that says misunderstood in white right across the chest, and a pair of blue jean shorts with a red and black plaid shirt tied around the waist. There you go, just slip those on and look how cute she is. But of course she's not done yet because she needs shoes. Oh, and socks. Awesome. Okay, these ones are plain black. There we go. And she's also got some black boots with Union Jacks painted on the sides. Quick stand test says she passes, which means that Mina Moody can join the rest of the crudy. That was terrible. And we can move on to this package with the triangle on the front. Checklist, bag, 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 recycling. And we're gonna have Roxy Foxy inside this one. Holy, with a lot more confetti than the others had, apparently. Let's just deal with that later. Okay, Roxy, time to make your debut. Oh my goodness, her hair is a lot more red and vibrant than I thought it was gonna be. I love that. Based on the picture, I thought it was gonna be more orange or auburn, but no, it's definitely red and I like it. There is one section that's rather short, but that's because it's pulled across her forehead, which is actually what they were supposed to do with Misha's hair, but either they didn't or maybe just my doll doesn't have that look. Either way, this is Roxy and she's super cute. And since she's fox themed, it makes sense that she comes wearing a fox hat, which is orange, white, and brown for the ears with a little bit of pink on the inside. She's got light brown and green eyes. And of course she's got her painted underwear set in a red color. For her outfit, we have, oh, two piece set, which includes this red form fitting dress. Hold on, let's just pop it on her. There we go. It's got a ruffle that fans out at the bottom and a design in the center of the chest with a heart and a whole bunch of little spots, as well as this hopefully faux, actually it's plastic, so yes, it is faux, fox fur stole or boa. If you don't know what a stole is, it's basically a boa, which looks like a fox tail. So it's an orangey brown color with white tips at the ends. It's pretty loose, so it falls off kind of easy and makes her hair stick out now. So I don't know if I'll keep it there. Oh, or if I'll put it outside of her hair, maybe? That looks kind of ridiculous. I'll just leave it off for now. But either way, it's good, except just a little loose. And we'll finish off her look by adding her shoes and little white fishnets. 
let's just pop those on. There we go, shoe number one, shoe number two. So her heels are red and chunky with black platform soles, one strap around the ankle and a little fox face on the front. So we'll pop her fur back on and we have her final look. Now for the stand test, which of course she passes. And that's it for Roxy Foxy. Next up, I'm gonna open this package with the cloud on the front, which will have who inside? Who, who, who? Nina Nanners, apparently. So let's see what she's like. I kind of feel like she's meant to have a monkey theme, but it doesn't seem to be reflecting very much in her artwork. So I'm eager to open her up and see what she looks like. Oh, wow, I did not see that coming. Okay, she is way too cute to be allowed. So she's got super long pastel orange hair. It's almost neon actually, but like super pastel with hints of pink thrown in there and a bright pink flocked monkey hat on top of her head. Her eyes eyes are a dark aqua color, her painted underwear set is yellow, and her skin complexion is light. For her outfit, she's got a two-piece look which is very brightly colored. So her shirt is a light blue covered in bananas. We've got some scalloped sleeves, a little collar, and a bow right at her belly button there. And that's going to be paired with this bright pink striped blue skirt covered in green banana leaves, I guess. And it's kind of funny, but all of a sudden she looks a little bit more subdued color-wise now that I've added her clothes. She seemed brighter before, but that might just be me. And for her shoes, we have some, oh, they're stuck together, hold on. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. They don't look like monkeys though. Maybe they aren't monkeys. I don't even know anymore. We've got some high wedged sandals, which are blue in the back and have little painted pink faces on the front. And I mean, I thought monkey because of her hat and the bananas, but they don't really look like monkeys. So I'm thrown, but either way, they are very cute. So I'm just gonna pop them on her. And that's her finished look. Of course, we gotta see if she can stand. And she can! Excellent. Thanks for coming out, Nina. <laughs> Down to the final three we are. I don't know why I'm channeling my inner Yoda, but I am. And we're gonna be opening up this straight-sided di- No, not diangle. Oh my gosh. This straight-sided diamond package. Yes. We've got our checklist, our package, package, and package and recycling, of course. And CJ Cuddles should be inside this time, which is good, because we need another boy. Oh, we've got a lot of confetti on that piece of tape there, so let's just take that out. Ah! And three, two, one. There he is! Oh, he's cute! So he's got a lightly tanned complexion with blonde hair, blue eyes, and a bandage on his nose. He comes wearing a flocked light orange with black striped tiger hat. We've got some white on the inside of the ears, and he's wearing painted red underwear. And his outfit is a white and red long sleeve shirt, which is inspired by Supreme merchandise. So it says stripes across the center and has tigers on top. And that's gonna go with these light blue ripped denim jeans. Oh no, guys, bad news. CJ is beside himself. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Finally, we have his shoes and socks, which are white with red and green stripes around the tops. And the shoes are black sneakers with some white laces and tigers on the sides. And now it's time to stand the test of time. Good job, Jen. <laughs> And CJ, of course, because he did it. Dun 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 dun! All right, we are almost done, and you can tell I've been here a long time. So we're gonna open up this circle package, which, 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 I actually know who this one is, because, I mean, we're running out of options, is going to have Sarah Snuggles in it. Why am I so excited? Because I get excited about a lot of things. Obviously, that's the answer. So let's jiggle off some confetti, brush it to the side. There we go. <gasps> ah! Her hair's stuck in the tape. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is Sarah Snuggles. Her hair is kind of all over the place at the moment, but we're not gonna pay attention to that because she's just too perfect and precious and we love her. And uh, yes, she's got a tanned complexion and comes wearing a painted underwear set of light pink, which totally matches her long curly hair in the back. She is so cute. Words cannot even make me 
makes sense. So you get whatever I just said. She's got brown eyebrows, bright blue eyes, and the sweetest teddy bear hat on her head, which is of course flocked in this creamy tan color. Just wait until I get her outfit on because I mean, I already showed you the big doll, but guys, just believe me, okay? Look at this sweater dress. It is so cute. It's a mix of a very creamy color and a light tan with some brown lacing on the side, the sweetest little bear face on the chest, and even pockets. What is not to love? Ah, she is just too cute for words. But maybe you're not on board yet with how perfect she is. Maybe you need to see the final look. So let me just go ahead and add her long striped white and pink socks and her little brown boots. They're like little Tims, oh my gosh. So they're brown with little paw prints, brown laces, and even little tails in the back. She's just wonderful. That's it, that's all I can say now. But of course, hold on, here they are together. It takes two, baby. It takes two, baby. It just takes two. It's me and you. Ooh, ooh. These are pretty awesome replicas. Obviously they're smaller and have hard bodies and plastic clothing, but other than that, they're pretty spot on. However, uh, I think it's worth noting that the other dolls used to have scented shoes for some reason and the new ones do not. It's not a deal breaker, I just thought I'd point that out. And now we test those shoes. Hold on, it's a balancing act sometimes. Her hair is weighing her down. Oh wait, never mind. I spoke too soon. There we go. She stands. Thank you so much, Sarah Snuggles. You've been wonderful. And now your time is over and we'll move on to the fancy diamond package, which contains the 12th and final doll. She's gonna complete our collection. Oh, and drop out of my hand. Here we go. Oh, she's popping confetti all over. It's like a party in here. Oh, she's so cute. I know, no one saw that coming. <laughs> so she's got long curly rainbow colored hair. It's got a mix of yellows, pinks, blues, purples, and greens in there. And this totally matches her unicorn theme. She's wearing a very pale pink unicorn hat with a golden horn. And I'm not super thrilled about that because it's definitely coming off on my fingers. Ew. But other than that, she looks really good. If I can move her hairs out of her armpits. Hold on, I said away like so. She looks pretty flawless. She's got sky blue eyes, purple eyebrows, a light olive complexion, and comes wearing a painted white underwear set. I can't believe we're almost done, guys. I am boiling. Bag number two contains her outfit, which I'm not gonna lie, it's super hideous. Oh my gosh, <laughs> okay. I guess it's supposed to be a see-through shirt because it's transparent on the top with some rainbow glitter embedded in the plastic or rubber or whatever it is. And then there's a spaghetti strap black dress on top of it covered in various colored small circles, which is meant to be sequins. I know this because I've seen the larger doll, but honestly, it's not coming across as sequins though. <laughs> the inside looks really pretty and I kind of wish they had just done that, but they didn't, so I'm just gonna put it on and roll with it. Now she's not as cute. <laughs> Honestly, I might steal clothes from LOLs and try to make some other outfit for her. Um, but for now, she's stuck in it, so here's what it looks like. And our final bag, dun dun dun, dun has, oh, I dropped one, has her socks, which are white, long, and sparkly, with pink, yellow, and blue stripes on top, as well as a little unicorn face. And her shoes are sort of like platform form sneaker boots. The soles are black, the rest is white, and we've got some wings and stars painted on them along with black laces. And guys, are you ready? It's the final stand now. Ooh, never mind. Try that again. Huzzah! Excellent. Uh, oh God, we're not gonna judge them for being voluminous. That's not right. Let's just play around with this. Come on. She's trying to be difficult and it's annoying me. Hey! Hey, there we go. Oh my gosh, like really? We did it, we did it, we did it, hooray! See these 12 dolls, we did it. We open the packs and save the confetti, yeah we did it, we did it, we did it, hooray! Oh my God, has my camera been crooked this whole time? Well, that's awful. Okay guys, that's it for me and the full set of the Nana Na Surprise mini dolls. Thanks largely to MGA being kind and giving us stickers on the front of the boxes indicating which doll would be inside which. However, I will point out that you only know what those codes are if you already have a checklist or if you make sure that you're getting one of each sticker symbol so that you don't get a duplicate. But the point is they are still there and that is commendable. 
And as usual, the only suggestion I have to make them even better would be giving us more variety in skin tones. Because as it stands right now, we only have Aspen Fluff and Sarah Snuggles with a deeper tan, which really isn't enough. Other than that, I literally had one small missing piece of paint in one of Tuesday's cat ears and that was it. The quality was really good and the price point was excellent, so I'm pretty happy with these. So I hope you guys liked seeing these as much as I I enjoyed opening them and I can't wait to put them all on display. I might even have to make them like a little backdrop or something because they're just so stinking cute, you know? I don't know why I'm doing this, you know? <laughs> if you know somebody who would enjoy today's video, then please share it with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like about today's video and which of the dolls was your favorite because right now I'm thinking bunny and bunny. They feel like sisters to me, but I am partial to Tuesday. In fact, I bought a second one so that my daughter would have one, and now we technically have two Tuesdays? You let me know which one is your favorite. Or if you have multiple, that's okay too. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Ow, I just pulled my hair. Try that again. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Shucks, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>